Hi everyone, my name is Mark Moikens from Big Mountain Studio, and today I'm going to teach you how to size stacked views so they look better on the storyboard no matter what size of device you're using. So here's the problem. Notice I have a stack view here with four buttons in it, and they're all touching each other, so it's not evenly spaced. Now, what I could do is, you know, I could resize this so it's in the center. That looks a little bit better, but there's no spaces in between. So then let's come back here and select this stack view. And I can use this property right here to add more spacing in between. And that might look okay right here. And I have to recenter it again. Okay, that's good. But then let's go to a larger device. And now notice that the centering is off and it's no longer evenly spaced. So what's a better solution? Well, you might think maybe you could programmatically check the device at runtime, add more spaces to that stack view, but that's not really a good solution. Instead, I'm gonna show you a better solution. Let's go back to the iPhone 7 size here and let's delete that spacing. Instead, what I can do is I can stretch out this stack view here. So let's select this stack view and let's get it right up against the left side here, right up against the left margin. And notice what I want to do is I want to grab the stack view and I want to stretch it out to the right side or the right margin. But I can't. It won't let me do that. So instead what I'm going to do is come down here and add a constraint. And I'm going to make this zero as well. And this is the only way I know how to do this. If you guys have a better suggestion on resizing this on the storyboard, please let me know because I'd be very interested. Okay, and then I'm just going to give it a top constraint or else it'll complain. So, oh, here's another tip I want to give you too. Uh, something that changed in Xcode 8.3. Remember you used to have another option down here that would allow you to resize the control uh, according to the constraints? Well, now it does that automatically. So after I set the constraints and I click this Add 3 Constraints, it's going to automatically resize my control to fit these constraints. So you, never, you no longer have to select that. It's not even an option anymore. They just took it out. So let's add that. And now notice it, it spaced everything out evenly. So that's exactly what I want. It does it automatically for me. And if I go to the iPhone 7 Plus, it still looks great. And it resized that automatically as, as well. So that's all you have to do. You don't have to worry about spacing. You don't have to programmatically change the size or anything like that. You just set the constraints and it takes care of the rest for you. All right, guys. Hope you appreciated this tip. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And consider subscribing and sharing it with your friends too who might be able to benefit from this knowledge. It'll also help out my channel too to reach more people and help even more people around the world. All right, thanks guys.